In this quick video, I'll explain what you need to know about pointing your domain. It's also called doing a DNS update, changing your name servers. All of these phrases refer to the same simple process. Hi, this is Greg Hughes from .com Classroom. So what does it mean to point your domain? When you register a domain name like yourwebsite.com, the only way that domain can be associated with your website is if you point it to the place where your site is being stored. You can't have a website without a place to store it. That's called a web host. And you can't have web hosting without a domain. And as you probably know, your domain is the address to your website. So when people type it in, it needs to know which web server to take them to so they land on your website. The process sounds far more complicated than it is. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. So since you're watching this video, you probably land in one of these three groups. Group number one, you need a new domain and a new web hosting account. Or you're in group number two, you already have a domain that's registered somewhere, but you haven't used it for a website yet and you're ready to go. Or you're in group number three, you have a domain and you have a website being hosted with that domain online somewhere, but you wanna move your site and your domain to a new host. In all three of those scenarios, no matter which group you're in, your domain is gonna to need to be pointed to the right server. Now, if you're in group one, this isn't gonna take very long because the best choice for you is to just go to your web host and let them take care of the whole process for you. You see, when you purchase a web hosting account, and I always recommend SiteGround, if you wanna know why, I have a video about that and the link is in the description below. But when you purchase a web hosting account, all you need to do is choose an available domain during the hosting signup process and you'll be set up and ready to start creating your website right away. And that's because the web hosting company will take care of all the domain pointing details for you in one fell swoop. Now, if you happen to be in group two and you already have a domain that you purchased somewhere like GoDaddy, Namecheap, or my personal favorite, Technon Domains, your task is pretty easy too. It's just one extra step. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do to point your domain to the right server. So if you're in group one, you're free to go. You can see the link in my description if you wanna get your domain and web hosting account in one easy step at SiteGround. But let's talk again about group two. So you have a domain already registered. So if you don't already have one, the next thing you need is a web hosting account. Again, I always recommend SiteGround, but no matter who you host with, your hosting provider is gonna give you the information you need to point your domain to them. These are called name servers, and they look something like this. Now remember, yours are probably gonna look a little different than mine, but the format is the same. You will always be given two name servers, a primary name server and a secondary one. You need them both, so copy them or write them down somewhere. The next stop is your registrar. Now in my case, that's Technon Domains. If you use GoDaddy, the interface is gonna look very similar, but all domain registrars have a place for you to do this. Now, sometimes they're gonna call it changing your name servers. They might say update your DNS record or something like that, or even pointing your domain. Now for Technon Domains, it looks like this. You can type or paste them both into the fields and then save it. Now, sometimes they're gonna tell you that it takes 24, 48 hours. That's really not true. It used to be back in the day, but now domain resolves happen in just a few minutes, sometimes five or 10 minutes. And basically you're done. You're ready to start building or uploading your website at your new web hosting account. And here's a quick bonus tip. Now this is optional, but if you wanna see if your domain name update has resolved or completed, you can go to this website, dnswatch.info. You would type in your domain name with the A record selected and click the button that says resolve. There you're gonna see if the new name servers are showing up and if they are, it's all done. Before I end this video, let me help those of you who are in group number three. You already have a website and a domain hosted somewhere, but you need to move it. So your process is gonna be just a little bit more complex, but don't worry. In fact, if the website you wanna move happens to be a WordPress website, and by the way, 42% of internet websites are WordPress, then you should watch my video about moving your WordPress website to a new host. There's a link in the description so you can see that. But the process is basically the same that we just did for group two, except for one very important detail. You need to make sure that you've uploaded a copy of your old website, the one that's on the old host, onto your new host before you update the name servers like we just did. That way your existing website won't have any downtime. 
So as you can see, updating your DNS record or changing your name servers, pointing your domain, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty quick and easy. And if you want to know more about domains and web hosting stuff, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video that answers your question. Thanks for watching.